My name's Tom, <laughs> uh, from London, um, and I'm a physio. A few things, really, I think. A, a, a few kind of years of a bit of frustration about um, lack of confidence in myself and my, my own process. Um, I work in quite a busy, busy practice, so I, th I suppose getting customers in hasn't really been a problem because I work for a company that, you know, they've already got quite a big reputation. And, uh, you know, we, we get a lot of clients in quite easily, so that wasn't really the problem. It was then really, get when, once they're in, having the confidence in myself that actually they're getting better. And a lot of it was kind of um, stabbing in the dark at, at certain things and using knowledge from my course and knowledge from other areas but not really having everything kind of put in one place and then then and, and, and applying that in my practice and i found that quite frustrating um, and i didn't really feel i was doing the best for my clients so um yeah that's kind of what attracted me to this really is i've, I've followed dave for quite a while now and um, he's obviously quite well known in terms of the physio so physio circles and um, so i followed him online and uh, the online content and and didn't really have the well didn't really have the confidence to kind of get stuck in really um, and, I'm, and now I'm, I'm really glad I did because uh, it's kind of yeah it's been a good weekend so far. Which aspect of the week did I like the most? Um, all, I suppose it's just the whole thing really um, I think it's a, a great click great to come and see the clinic so it's a great great to come in and see everything so that's been really really good um, it's quite a um, really laid out quite nicely um, there's a lot of content to take in but it's not kind of thrown at you everything's kind of reasoned through so we'll go over a topic and then we'll kind of practice that topic and then we just kind of we'll kind of uh, problem solve and kind of sit down and have a really relaxed conversation about it so I quite like that I think courses that I've done in the past is very much kind of information overload practice right off you go whereas this is very much kind of information right let's now talk about this how can we you know, apply this to your practice in, in the real world and how, you know, let Dave, we've just done an exercise now where Dave's kind of just said, right, give me a patient, let's talk through the patient. And, we can, and you can then see how this theory, how this way of thinking, you really can apply it to everything. I think, um, like I said, in the past other courses you go to, it only re, you can only reapply those different things to certain areas. Um, whereas this, it, it literally covers everything and it's, it's more a way of thinking rather than a specific way of doing things, which I think is really good. How will it happen moving forward? I think confidence is, is key. I already feel confident it just in, in talking through the cases that we've been talking through and, and um, having reason behind what I'm doing. So knowing exactly why um, I'm doing what I'm, what I'm planning to do with this patient and uh, it sounds cheesy, it's what Dave says, but you know, working smarter, not harder. Um, and that is, is true, you know, once, once I know exactly what I'm looking for, I can then kind of move through the, the steps quite quickly and I think that confidence will hopefully come through with my patients in terms of kind of getting them back and getting them back to where I want them to be. The biggest takeaway I think is um, that I found really is just don't overcomplicate things. I think, you know, the world we're in today, there's so much on social media and so much in terms of the different courses that you can go and do and different professionals telling you one thing or the other, but really you just got to keep it simple and be confident in, in the basics and and allow that to kind of um, <clears throat> kind of help with your, your thought process. Um, and as soon as you see that either the patient's struggling or they're not progressing, don't be then afraid to just take it like go back to basics again take it nice and simple regress them slightly and then work back up to where you were so i think yeah that's that's a that's a big thing that i think um has kind of surprised me at it how simple it can be but how effective it can be at the same time how's it helped me with my confidence um i think almost kind of being put on the spot not, not in a kind of bad way, but just, you know, like I said, s being able to just sit and talk through those patients, um, having Dave and Shane there who really, they don't, this isn't something that they teach and go and do something completely different. This is exactly what they're doing in their clinic. And you can see that by the way in which they talk about it. Um, and so 
then when you're kind of asked to do something, you can kind of go through it, reason it with them, and that really, really helps. I think it's, it's helped me to remove a lot of things that maybe I was doing because I was going through the motions um, in terms of assessments. So, um, you know, with, with your kind of generalised knee assessments, ankle set assessments, before I had a kind of a preset motion that I would go through. Um, and actually that wasted quite a bit of time and it, was, it wasn't really kind of specific to finding out the true kind of stressor. With what we've done with, with the guys this weekend, it's, it's taken the body as, as a whole. And a lot of the assessments are very similar. And a lot of, um, you know, whether it's upper limb, lower limb, what we're finding is actually everything ties in. So you can quite quickly get to the, the point that you need to get to with, with a very simple assessment, rather than having to do all these different, different tests and memorize these different kind of test outcomes and things like that. So just keeping it simple um, <clears throat> and getting to, the, getting to the point nice and quickly. Would I recommend the men's ship? Definitely. Yeah, I, th I really was. I um, I was definitely a skeptic in terms of getting involved, and I'd sat on the outside for a little while. And I think just coming this weekend, um, having access to the online content, meeting everybody here, seeing the clinic, um, I would definitely recommend it. Um, I feel already feel a lot more confident and quite excited just to kind of get out there now and, and kind of put all of this into practice.